Hello and welcome to another review by my new account. I'm your host James, and if you're a normal person like me, then you more than likely are a fan of Scooby-Doo. If you are not a fan of Scooby-Doo, then allow me to request that you pause this video right now, and take your ass to the nearest drug rehabilitation center straight away, because whatever you are smoking is clearly having a devastating effect on your mental health and you need to get help right away. Please pause this video, get help, then come back and unpause the video. You're hurting your mother, and I do not approve of it. Now then. With that out of the way, let's get back to the topic at hand. In case you can't tell from the title of this video, today I will be reviewing one of my favorite titles in the Scooby-Doo franchise, and no it's not Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. That title is already perfect and is not in need of a review. Instead I will be reviewing Scooby-Doo, a triple X parody by New Sensations. Not many people may know of this title, so I feel that it is my duty to present it to you. So sit down, kick back, and let's dive right in. As stated before, this title was produced by New Sensations. You may recognize the studio from smash hits such as The Friend Zone, Against Her Will, and Pretty Dirty. Get it? Smash Hits. Smash. Yeah. Anyways, this film starts out with Shaggy waking up from a weed-induced coma. Maybe if he stayed away from that shit, he wouldn't be having this problem. But then we wouldn't have much of a film without some kind of inner conflict for our hero to deal with, now would we? Speaking of our protagonists, doesn't there seem to be a certain four-legged individual missing from this scene? Just where could Scooby-Doo be? So there's our main conflict introduced to us. Scooby-Doo is missing, and now we are treated to the opening credits. It should be noted that some of my favorite actresses are in this film, such as Brie Olsen and Alyssa Branch. You may recognize Alyssa Branch from this video here. Now now, I know what you're thinking. Most common viewers don't care for credits, so let's fast forward a little bit and get back to analyzing the story. The story picks up with Shaggy and his friends getting together to try and evaluate the situation at hand. Vilma asks where Shaggy last seen Scooby, and he replies with he thinks last night. Daphne questions why Shaggy only thinks that it was last night, and so Shaggy proceeds to explain that he was partying hard last night. Great going Shaggy, you're a great pet owner. Ah, drugs and alcohol. Yes. And there you have it. How will our protagonist solve this issue? Will they ever find their beloved Scooby-Doo? Well, how about you watch and find out? This has been my new account, and I rate Scooby-Doo a triple X parody in 11 out of 10. Greatest Scooby-Doo title second only to Zombie Island. I'll see you guys next time. Later bitches.